Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Norman Reed, and today we have my long-awaited fall essentials video. I'm gonna split up my essentials into four categories: outerwear, casual wear, pants, jeans, and the last category will be um, footwear. Before I dive into this, I just want to address that I've been off of YouTube for a month and some change, but within that time period, I have been working on other creative endeavors, such as like with my small business and also content on Instagram and TikTok. The content I post over there is fashion related. Um, it's just like fit checks with like um, some of my friends. Um, I try to just document or give my friends a platform where they can express and show um, their fashion to the masses. And I'm gonna try to expand that a little bit more in the future or in the coming months. But with that being said, if you're new to my channel and it's your first time here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell down below so you don't miss one of my videos. I guess it's road to, I guess like 300 subscribers right now. I'm gonna try to reach over 300 subscribers before the end of the year. But yeah, so let's dive into my fall essentials. So the first category I'll be tackling is my casual wear, such as like my sweaters and then long sleeve shirts. First things first, I just wanna preface this category or just preface this throughout my whole video that I try to have my essentials fit the fall um, colors. When I say fall colors, I mean like earth tones, such as like a red, burgundy-ish color, yellow, green, brown, beige, and black. So that's like the, the palette I try to like mimic my outfits or like my wardrobe with. So I just wanna say that from now. In this category, I will be talking about like sweaters and crew necks. So this is like my go-to crew neck within this fall season, a bright orange crew neck. Just to look, give it like um, some contrast. You can also have black crew neck. I'm putting these two um, crew necks I guess against each other just to show that if you're a type of person that likes bright colors go for the brighter color um item or you want more of a, a reserved look go for like a darker item so these are like two sides of the same coin in the sense or it's like a spectrum you can have a brighter color um sweater or you can have a darker color um sweater either way if you match like your pants or your shoes or like put an outfit around this item these items i should say you're always gonna have like a nice outfit or like a nice style within the season also if you're feeling like a little bit more toasty or like you want to feel a little bit more warm you can go with a knitted sweater i got this sweater from gap as you can see right here got them i got this sweater from the thrift actually for six dollars so like there's deals out there so you don't have to break the bank to look good within the season so yeah just a knitted gray sweater can't go wrong with this if you want to dress up your outfits and look like i have that preppy look you can wear like a a college shirt put the sweater over some nice pants trousers whatever you may call them um a nice pair of dress shoes you can go out into the town go out on a date go out to the whatever you need to do you can also you can have like that preppy look or if you really wanted to, you can put this sweater or put on this sweater with like some nice jeans, a pair of boots, and go about your day. Call it a day. So the last two items in my casual wear section or my casual wear essentials is a flannel shirt and a button, a regular button down um, shirt. Flannel because again, you can never, you can never, you can never go wrong with flannel within the fall season. You can wear um, a nice pair of denim pants, a nice pair of boots with them, a nice pair of sneakers. Go about your day. A very timeless look. Or you can go with a nice button down shirt. And again, it's the same same premise. Just a, a plain undershirt. Have the shirt over have this shirt over it. Um, a, a nice pair of black pants. You can dress it up with some um, some loafers. Or you can spit it up with like other sneakers. Um, a nice pair of like Jordan 1s maybe. And yeah, you can do like a lot of different outfits with these two items. So, well, this is why they're in my casual essential category. Again, green, a nice yellow, nice, um, like a gray navy-ish color. Can never go wrong with this. And you can never go wrong with a nice t-shirt not t-shirt a nice shirt in general a nice button-down shirt collar shirt too so like there's a lot of styles you can do with this so that is my casual wear um section and let's dive into um, let's say footwear next so i'll start off with some sneakers in my footwear section or category if you would have asked me last year or last fall fall 2021 i would have said um new the new balance like 990s would have been my um my essentials essential sneaker for the fall however 
I'm switching the model, but I'm staying with the same brand. So I'm going with the New Balance 330s. I think these are called. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure these are called the 330s. If I'm not, I'll put up um, in the bottom right or bottom left or something like that, the correct model name. But yeah, I picked these shoes up for, I actually got them as a gift, but the person who bought these for me, they picked them up for $10, $10. Name a sneaker you can find for $10 outside of going to the thrift. These were retail for $10. I'm waiting. You can't tell me. So you can't beat these. These sneakers cost $10 and I picked these up. Well, I got them in three different um, colorways. Again, a nice black and white sneaker. You can never go wrong with these. A nice, mm. I don't know, Alexa's wilding. However, but um, you can go with a, a maroon, a nice green, and a nice beige sneaker. You can go, you can do like a monochrome outfit. Um, I know like Gap and like, I guess like Urban Outfitters, they also have like a lot of um, sweatsuits that can go well with the sneaker. Again, nice monochrome outfit, really, really want to. Or you can do like a all black and just let the shoes do the talking. But out of the three, these are my favorite because they're beige. They have the yellow on, on the heel tab, black on the toe box, and a nice blue, a nice pop of blue on the, I don't even know what this, this is called, but I guess the medial side of the shoe. Again, these are the New Balance 330s, and these are my essential sneaker for the season. So the last essential within my footwear category will have to be some timeless boots. I would say, I'll start off with um, the black boots within my collection. These are a pair of black Sperry boots, and these are a pair of black um, Ugg boots. Again, these boots go very well with any outfit because they're all black, one. And also, they keep my feet and also people's people's feet very warm and protected from the rain. But then this fall season, there is a lot of random rain, like thunderstorms for like three days in a row, maybe the whole week possibly. So like having a nice pair of boots in your, in your rotation or your collection in general are very vital. But those were my two black boots. And my last boot, I would say, will be my black Tims. Black Tims, my um, nice brown colored Tims. They have burgundy laces, pretty timeless silhouette. Especially if you're from the East Coast, these are a very timeless. I don't know about y'all, but I like wearing my boots, or my Tims with the hang tag, as you can see right here. Very timeless, very classic silhouette. I wear these with a nice sweater, a nice pair of maybe black jeans if I really want to, or a pair of cargos if I'm really feeling like that like ugh type energy. But yeah, these are my last essentials within my footwear category. All right, let's talk about some pants slash trousers. Let's start with some jeans for, for, for now. So again, as I previously mentioned with my orange and black crew neck sweater, I'm gonna talk about some black jeans and some regular um, blue jeans or combi jeans. I think I picked these up for relatively cheap. I made a video about these, so you can click that card over here, or you can click the just click the link down in the description below. But yeah, nice pair of blue jeans. You can never go wrong with these. As I mentioned, you can wear them with some nice sneakers, maybe some Chelsea boots if you're feeling like that, like that, or you can just wear um with basically anything. Honestly, that's like can't really go wrong with blue jeans. Flannel, check. Crew neck, check. Um, a hoodie, check. Some sneakers, pair of Jordan ones, calm. Pair of boots, can't go wrong. So yeah, you can do very. You can do a lot with um, blue jeans, but you can even do more with some pair of black jeans. I think these are some black Levi's. I'm not sure what this mo this model is called. I don't know what this model is called. I might leave that in the description down below. But yeah, some black Levi's, as you can see right here. These have some nice rips within the pants. Nice pair of ripped jeans. Very, gives you that, that rugged look. Or if you don't want to have ripped jeans, you can go with the just the casual, no ripped jean pants. Or, yeah, the casual, no ripped jeans and have that like more classy look or like more, I, I would say like traditional look. Anywho's, but yeah. Some pair of black jeans. These are one essential within my pants slash trousers category. And the second one is going to be a pair of nice Levi, I guess these are called khaki, um, I guess dress pants. Yeah, can't go wrong with these. 
if you want to know my dimensions i'm like a 32 32 so like these fit perfectly on my body so yeah nice pair of khaki pants we also have on the spectrum we also have a pair of black dress pants these are a pair of boston traders um dress pants i think i wore these maybe once i made like a, a like an instagram post with these but yeah these are um you can say like an oversized pant uh, or trousers but yeah these have a very wide like opening for your legs so like you can style that and have that like flowy look with your outfits i wore these i think with a pair of white like a pair of new balances and a white shirt white alaska shirt i believe and i think i posted those on my instagram definitely because i remember that was a tough fit but yeah the reason why i bring these two particular pants up well this one in in, in particular is because like the, the 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 cut around your ankles or you cut around your legs there's like a lot of like play within it so like you have that flowy look i like that aspect within my outfits especially with like my pants or i try to have a flowy like um like a a long not to say long sleeve shirt but like a, a button down shirt having that flowy look it gives a little bit more if that makes any type of sense like it just gives you like that elegant flat like you're kind of like floating through the like while you're walking type beat so yeah like i i like that particular aspect within my outfits some may some might call it like it's a little bit oversized but i it fits me perfectly so those are my essentials for my pants category so we went over footwear we went over the pants and trousers slash jeans and we also went over the casual wear so let's go over the last section which is outerwear we have i'm gonna call i'm gonna dub this my pumpkin spice and everything nice type um jacket it is a i don't even know what this is called but like a fuzzy inside like a corduroy outside jacket it has a collar and it flaps down like this so like when you wear it you have the fuzzies showing and also looks like a collar again has buttons it gives like a i don't know it gives like a very um, how can i say i don't know i i feel like i wear like when i wear this jacket i kind of feel like a little farmer but like a farmer with like some drip if that makes sense like how I styled this item with like my outfit is just like, it goes a little bit, it goes well, it goes very well. So I recommend having a jacket like this because again, it fits perfectly with the fall. Um, nice cream slash like beige color within inside of the jacket. The pumpkin-ish brown, like a ginger-ish color on the outside of the, of the jacket. This is not lined all the way through with this fur, so. I'm not gonna be sweating too much and it has like it's not lined as I previously mentioned it's not lined all the way through so like my arms are not gonna be sweaty but my my body's gonna keep warm when I wear this um jacket I don't wear it with like a sweater I just wear it with, like a regular t-shirt underneath because again the jacket is gonna keep me warm so like I don't need that extra layer to like protect me from the elements if I if it gets really brick outside I can just button up the jacket and call it a day but yeah this is my last essential within my within this category or this is the only essential within my um, outerwear category. I could have put um, like a puffer jacket, but it's it, it was never that serious. I'm gonna save that for for winter because again, it's, it's not that cold right now. It's just rain and maybe like 50 degree ish weather. So like this jacket protects me from both of those elements because again, you gotta have an umbrella. So like that's like that's that's a given for the fall. So yeah. So those are all my essentials for the fall. Um, we went through my outerwear um, essentials, went through my casual wear slash like my sweater essentials. We went through my pants, trousers, and jeans. That like um, like lower 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 extremity essentials, and also we went through my footwear essentials with like the boots, sneakers. Can't go wrong with those three. So yeah, we went through. We basically went through like from top to bottom. We I didn't even incorporate hats because like this season. I'm not trying to like wear a lot of hats. I've tried to say that maybe for the winter because like that's when I start stepping for real. But yeah, for the fall, I'm just trying. I'm trying a little bit more, trying to step out a little bit more of my comfort zone type. So yeah, these are the these are my essentials for fall 2022. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment down below what's your favorite part. 
what's your favorite item or tell me what what are your fall essentials and i can tap in and i like, do my research and might pick up some items from from your from your brain and from your um your, from your style and incorporate it within my style also like the video if you like the video type or subscribe to the channel so you can stay in tune with all the latest content from mr norman reed so with that being said i hopefully you enjoyed this video i appreciate you roll to 300 subs and yeah catch you in the flip